Chase Briscoe is in his second year racing for SHR in the Xfinity Series. From a racing family, Chase has taken the Briscoe name further than anyone would have expected when his grandfather hit the dirt track in the 1970s. My family's always been in dirt sprint car racing, growing up in Indiana. Uh, my grandpa started owning sprint cars in 1976. He decided he just wanted to start owning cars and kind of crew chiefing them, so he did that. I was really successful, won over 500 races as an owner. And really anybody that's kind of who's who in sprint car racing, Steve Kinzer, Dave Blaney, Rich Vogler, Jack Hewitt, Chuck Mai, I mean, all the big names were drove for my grandpa. And then well, my dad raced for 22 years himself, won over 200 races, so kind of the sprint car deal was always what my family was into. And, I started racing sprint cars when I was 13 and then obviously it's progressed to where we're at now. Briscoe's transition from sprint cars to stock cars began when he was picked for a motorsport reality TV show in his senior year in high school, where he found racing on the road surface a lot easier thanks to his dirt car background. I certainly think, you know, having dirt experience helps and if you look at guys that are successful in NASCAR, the Tony Stewart's, the Jeff Gordon's, Casey Kane, Kyle Larson, all those guys come from sprint car backgrounds and Typically on the pavement, the looser the car, the faster you are. So I feel like it, it, not that the pavement's easier, but we're just used to slipping and sliding around. But they both have similar characteristics. I think it's a lot harder to go from pavement racing to dirt racing than vice versa. But you know, the pavement racing, obviously the speed's faster, but from a, a grip standpoint, it's obviously got a lot more. You know, the dirt deal, it's so tough because you're on the edge of out of control all the time. And, you know, the sprint cars, we have over 950 horsepower in a 1,250 pound car. So the lack of grip is huge compared to the stock car deal where we have 700 cent horsepower and 3,400 pounds. So just uh, makes an easier transition, I guess, to go to the pavement. But yeah, it's a fun one for sure. SHR has an Xfinity team to bring young drivers up to the Cup Series. And Briscoe was hired full time last season by Tony Stewart. He was Rookie of the Year in 2019, which earned him a second season at SHR. For me, it's a dream come true. Tony Stewart was my hero growing up. We grew up 45 minutes apart in Indiana. He grew up racing sprint cars. I grew up racing sprint cars. My dad even raced against Tony, and they were pretty good friends growing up. So for me, Tony Stewart was kind of the guy growing up that I kind of idolized. And it's cool to say I, I get a drive now for my hero. And last year, getting to, to drive full time was obviously a dream come true. But to be able to, to do it for a second year now, and even the same year that Tony's getting inducted into the NASCAR Hall of Fame, is pretty cool that I'm going to be a part of it that season. It's huge to have a guy like Tony and even Gene Haas, guys that are true icons in the motorsport industry. And Tony's a, a racer. I mean, he gets it. He still races almost 100 sprint car races a year. So it's nice to, to have a boss that understands both sides of it, whether it's as a driver or as an owner. And then obviously Gene is a super successful businessman that, that loves racing as well. So from a, an owner standpoint, I don't think it gets any better than, than Gene and Tony. So definitely blessed to be in the situation I'm in. Briscoe has been one of the standout drivers in 2020 and reached the playoffs with seven race wins in the regular season. He's looking to emulate Cole Custer, who stepped up to SHR's Cup team this year and has already won a race in the top category. For Briscoe, whether he wins the Xfinity Championship or not, it's about racking up the victories. It proves that if you go win, it opens up opportunities. If you win two or three races a year, it doesn't really change anything, but if you go win, you know, that eight to ten races and really set the mark high, then it puts pressure obviously on the guys that are already in the Cup Series and it proves that you're ready to go there. So it definitely uh, is a lot of pressure to try to win that many races, but if you do, obviously, hopefully you get rewarded. So we'll try to do that, but yeah, it's encouraging. It's cool to see Cole. He was kind of in the same situation I am now where his first two years won a couple races and then his third year was kind of his lights out year. And that's the position we're in now, so that's what we're trying to do. Obviously, try to win that championship. We need to for sure be one of those final four guys in the playoffs going to the final race. But yeah, just try to win as many races as we can. Hopefully we can win at least eight to 10.